Hey y'all, Bob, Lindy, and Renee Prince here from the Tradition School of Oral Studies. So, it's the night before Herb Day, so we gotta make some cool medicinal meals. So, it was probably maybe 10 years ago, uh, I was out exploring a, uh, a very Chinese, Chinese restaurant that uh, used to be on US 19. And uh, you had to ask for the Chinese menu, you didn't want the American menu. And uh, so we saw on the menu that there was jellyfish as an appetizer, as a salad. And I was like, ah, I like weird food, so let's order it. And I actually liked it. And, you know, anything in the sea. And, and, you know, I always ask the question, is a jellyfish vegan or not? I don't know. I had one friend, at their way of defining whether something was vegetarian or not is whether or not it had knees. So in this case, you know, for those pescatarians and so forth, that was acceptable. So there's a couple of different ways you can make it. The reality is we usually get it, it's uh, preserved in salt. So there's rock salt in here. The single most important thing, you can make it a thousand different ways, is rinse, 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 rinse. So with this one, it's, uh, it's the only thing in here. It doesn't seem to have any of the MSG or anything like that. So it's really just rock salt in here. I did make the mistake once and I was literally chewing on rocks. I like using cabbage uh, kind of as the base of my salad and you know we got the nice Napa cabbage so we can kind of create a little bit of a, a base for our, um, our jellyfish there. And uh, so we've got some out, and the nice thing is, and this is the only way I've seen it for sale, this is the way I got it in the restaurant years and years ago, and I've been making this every year for Herb Day, is it's already kind of dried, and uh, it's funny, it's not slimy at all, it's a little rubbery, it's kind of like eating uh, clam, stri clam strips, uh, I have not tried it deep fried. So I'll empty one or two boxes of this, and literally, I'm doing this on TV, I actually normally do this in the sink. So we're going to rinse, 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 rinse. This one was kind of pre-rinsed, I have to admit. So until you don't feel any grit, and I always poke through, and uh, I look, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know the anatomy of a jellyfish very well. So I always look for any kind of things that I don't like the cut of its jib. So if I see anything weird in there, I pick it out. I want it to look fairly uniform. Oops, see, there's another little weird thing. Uh, it looks like just seaweed, honestly. Uh, da, 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 da. So, what I'm going to do, I think this one's pretty good. You do want to make sure you drain it out as much water, because we're going to add some spices to this. So, I like to press out. If you have a salad spinner at home, you, yeah, could, there you, go. you could totally put it in the salad spinner. That would work. So I'm going to let that drain for a second. And... Uh, you can use any number of spices. I like sambal. This is a, a chili pepper uh, a chili sauce. You could use, um, this isn't, it's a little spicy. I'm not a big spice person. This is right on my edge. Uh, you could also go with sriracha. They make a nice chili sauce as well. Again, alter it a, a little bit based on what your comfort level is with your, uh, with your spices. But I really do think it is a nice thing to add in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add this into a separate bowl uh, to mix it a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and add our sambal about that much, maybe a little more. Bob is synonymous for his exact measurements. That's right. I have a calibrated hand. And we're just trying to coat the jellyfish here. And cabbage is like, when you're eating spicy food, it's so funny. You know, we're like, oh, spicy things are so hot. So, yes, they are. Literally, it's not that it's been heated on the stove, but it feels hot in your mouth, even though it's room temperature. So we can add something that's cold, that feels cold in the mouth. And that's why I use the cabbage in this case. So we can do a little bit of jellyfish mixed in with some thinly sliced uh, cabbage. And it really, you know, makes a, a, a nice combination. There's crunch along with the chewiness to it. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Do you put cilantro and lime in this? So I do like to put a little bit of lime squeezed on there just to add to the marinade. 
I usually add a little cilantro to it. How about using scissors to yeah, break up could. the... Most of it's like you know, a little jellyfish tentacle. You don't get stung, by the way. The only burning I feel is from the, uh, the sauce. So I will squeeze a little lime over the top. I like to shred a little cilantro and mint in there. I think it just adds a nice little mm. pizzazz with it. I'm just trying to make sure that this is really evenly coated. So you guys, everybody has to know this. So for years of us doing this, even when I didn't live here, I came over for Herb Day, that I've always missed out on the food because I'm so busy working, but that by the time I get there, there's no food left. It makes me so upset. And I've never sat here. We're so busy running around. I've never had to watch him and sit, sat here while he did this. It's the most amazing smell. I want to gobble it all up. It smells so good. I just want to eat it and eat it and eat it. It smells like salty sriracha jellyfish goodness. It's so amazing. So you might go, why the heck do you want to eat some creepy jellyfish thing? <laughs> uh, and the reality is this is, again, this is a classical Asian dish that is, um, sorry, no. Make a little room here for myself, and you know, I didn't even pre prep the mint and the cilantro. Oh, there's some bitter melon flying off the table here. We'll save so that later. So good. Um, Makes me so happy. This is a medicinal meal, it is speci it's actually a beautification meal. So, when we think about collagen, in you know, where people are getting injections of collagen. We have foods that seem to increase the collagen in the body. So jellyfish, I can promise you, this is very collagen-like. Uh, so it's a longevity and beautification meal. Anything that comes from the sea, we consider somewhat salty. It is the flavor we associate with the kidney. Is there some cilantro? I might have left That's it in the fridge. That's why I was asking you. I'll get it's it for you. It's not hiding underneath Is there. this guy it? Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, so anything that's salty, we associate with the kidney. I just need a little bit. Pick what you need. Yeah, I just want to get to the, There's always, if you don't know it, cilantro in particular, you always have to wash your cilantro because there's always sand in it. So I don't know how they grow it commercially, but it is sandy, 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 sandy. Um, so the salty helps to guide it to the kidney. It's thought to benefit the kidneys. And uh, the, the mus it's not mucilogic, I'm sorry, that's not correct. If you, if you play with a, a live, uh, a live jellyfish, it feels a little slimy sometimes. But we're trying to add the that elasticity. elasticity. I mm -hmm. like that. That's a good word to add mm -hmm. into that. So we're trying to add that into our skin. Uh, and so this is actually going to benefit mm -hmm. that. I'm and our tendons and all of our body should be free flowing yes. and free moving and not rigid and dry. It should all be flexible. Uh, this way. So now we want to really thinly slice this cabbage and you can use just regular white you can be kind of uh, a little fancy you can throw in something like some purple cabbage if you want i'm saving that for the bitter melon actually i might add this in after it's so good and we're gonna just stop you guys there. this smells so good you have to come to herb day and try it i'm so excited so this is always better to make the night before because that chili sauce that sweet chili sauce is really going to help marinate that these flavors will all come together and uh, just kind of make a pretty oh, presentation with this. And, uh, oops, that needs a little bit more chopping. All right, and then I like to be a little bit of a weirdo. This is a, uh, see, I didn't prop that ahead of time. Some uh, sesame oil. Oh, no, I need to be smarter than the uh, sesame oil. So there's a full tab. So the problem with sesame oil, you put too much on, it's too much. So you literally just a little bit of color. And is there, ah, there's mm -hmm. the sesame seeds. And, and the trick to this, you guys, is to put a little bit into a cup and take a fork and dump the fork in it and then shake this the fork across the top. cooler when you do it this way. And then the tines sprinkle it evenly throughout everything and you don't get too much exactly what you want. 
Black uh, sesame seeds, maybe next. Yep, yep, that's exactly mm -hmm. what I was looking for. There's our black sesame seeds, which I also did not pre prep. This smells so good. I want to uh, eat it right now. No, you can have a taste. We're going to let Renee see I want this, this to be bit. our dinner. <laughs> that's right. We haven't had dinner yet. No. You should never cook um, on an empty stomach because then you just get all crazy with this so stuff. So excited about this. So there's a little bit of cilantro. I'm going to put a little bit of mint on there. Boy, it's always better when you put this on fresh with those scents. You know, we, we not only do we eat with our eyes, our tongue, our nose, so the more visually appealing we can make a meal, the, the more smells and all of those different tastes and flavors that we can add to this mm -hmm. makes it better. Wow! One more thing that Bob has a skill at, his knife skills. I'm all right. I, I still got all my fingers. All right. So remember, you know, this is yummy. This is beautiful. Oh, and the sesame seeds. I didn't say that. So there's a purpose to everything we're doing. Um, so the black sesame seeds aren't just pretty, and even though they look like, kind of look like roach turds on there. They're not. No. <laughs> it's late. Oh I haven't been God. drinking yet. I probably need better if I didn't. Oh, I, sweet I, baby I, Jesus. <laughs> Um, nope, it looks like beautiful sesame seeds as far so, as I'm concerned. What are they used for, Bob? So sesame <laughs> seeds are awesome. Sesame is a kidney tonic. And the nice. black seeds in particular uh, there they are. Are, are specific for the kidneys. It also uh, adds a little extra different texture and crunch uh, to this. Uh, and remember, I, I said in one of the other videos that anytime we build or nourish the body, we tonify in Chinese mm. medicine, we also want to move. So we've got these aromatics. we got bohi. we got the uh, boho. We've got the mint. We've got the cilantro. Those also, because the yin nourishing uh, jellyfish is a little heavy, it can be a little weighty. So by having these fresh aromatic herbs, we make it easier on the digestion. We continue to move things so nothing stagnates. And so just a little bit, and actually here, let's... Uh, we'll... And the other thing that goes with that is all of that good nourishment, that elasticity, that collagen type of action we want to move to different parts of our body so that helps our digestive system work properly and go to all the places we need it not just our skin and our hair and our body our uh, upper body and for beauty but all over to our joints and our legs so and our tendons we're and our gonna let renee have a little taste of all this i can't chew it and uh, oh okay i'm gonna taste this mm -hmm. for renee i'm so sorry it's okay I'm sorry, you guys. I had a, a mouth surgery and I can't chew. I'm not even supposed to be talking right now. That's right. Oh, God. I forgot about that. <laughs> so, eat this with a fork. Oh, gross. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so good. Uh, mm. All right. Are we so, done? <laughs> I think we're done. It's on me. Because that's gross so, mouth sounds. I don't do that, people. I don't know if we'll do another one or not. Um... We gotta clean up. I gotta finish making my Wu Chi Pai Fong black chicken white phoenix soup. I gotta pre prep a few more things. I'm gonna put on a pot of mung beans. If you don't know it, mung beans are detoxifying. <laughs> we'll do a little um, rice and mung bean. I've got mung bean sprouts to go with it. And uh, wow, that's just the right amount of okay. spicy. Um, gonna get up in the morning and make the bitter melon stir fry. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, to see the rest of it, I have to come out to Herb Day. So tomorrow, 2520 Central Avenue in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you're anywhere in the Tampa Bay area, heck, we have people who actually cross the whole state that come over from the East Coast to come see this. Over 20 vendors. We're expecting about 1,000 people to show up. Two musical acts. The Herb School. Lots of people representing two different lecture tents. We've got, I think, almost 20 lectures going on throughout the day. Um, amazing medicinal plants uh, available. We've got... Renee's awesome honeys. I think she made some new flavors mm -hmm. this time. So we'll I have get to a kava see. infused honey. Ooh, uh, we've got our neighbor, the, the, the Alicia, Alicia, who's got bees, uh, some fresh honey that she's uh, bottled up for us. We've got visitors from South Africa who are going to be here. They'll be uh, out on a blanket and talking about their travels in South, uh, South Africa. I don't even know. You never know who's going to show up on Herb Day. Come on by for an hour. Come by for the day. Um, check out Tradition School of Herbal Studies. If you're watching this or if you see this, make sure you subscribe so that you uh, can catch all the videos as they come out. We try really hard to put out something educational about once a week. Sometimes we get a little behind. So hope we see you in class. We see you on the in the movies. 
Uh, follow us on, on here and subscribe. See you in our day. Bye.